Welcome back. It is one of our most popular science experiments this time of year. Backed by popular demand, Chemical Kim is here to show us how to make ghost eggs. You look right. scary right there. That is um, dry ice, right? That is dry ice. Go ahead. And you just brought a ghost out of the container, I for love sure. It. And dry ice again is carbon dioxide, and the temperature as it comes from, you know, as it's, you bring it down from a gas into a solid, you know, putting pressure and lowering the temperature, it's near negative 110 degrees. Wow! So that's really, really cold. Okay. And so, so. if kids are thinking about, sorry, I put my hand Go right ahead. in that shot. But if if kids were thinking about using trying this, it requires supervision because that dry ice can be dangerous, right? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, you definitely look. want to wear gloves and I'm going to have you put some safety glasses yes, on too. Yes. Um, th this is definitely very, very cold material mm -hmm. and when you put it in water, what do you notice? And even when you blow on it, what do you notice, Catherine? Well, I of course notice all the bubbles and the steam and we're going to put some drops of food coloring in there, Kim? That's right. And the, it grabs on, exactly, it grabs onto the water. I can't get the darn grabs onto the water vapor and it brings out, um, you know, water and it looks, and that's what that white appearance is. And I'm going to take this into um, a, a procedure that's really fun for making ghost eggs for Halloween. Okay. And I revised my, my system here, my ghost egg maker, and what I'm using is one of these large water containers, mm -hmm. and I filled about halfway with water. And this is the part that an older parent or an older child would do, wearing gloves, you know, and then I'm just going to drop several chunks of dry ice. And of course, it's grabbing onto the water. Yeah. And carbon dioxide is heavier than water, so you see that falling as it brings that, you know, um, the density is lower. Yes. And so then we, we put the top on. And the nice thing is, is it does, you never want to seal it completely. You well, still want to allow some escape because pressure is building up. Okay. And that can be also, you know, a situation. But this is a nice apparatus because, look, it is not completely sealed here. Yes, so it's that's letting off some of that pressure. And then what do you notice coming out of the hose with the funnel? And that's all it is, is just a hose, about yep. a three-quarter inch size hose connected with a funnel. Yes. And what do you see coming out? Well, um, steam condensation. I don't know. What is that? It's exactly a facial. Water vapor, right? Water, water vapor. vapor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then we're going to dip it into the next ingredients that you need here is the uh, bubble solution. Yes. And so we're going to dip it into bubble solution. Which is a little use, dish soap and water, I take it? Yeah, and glycerin also adds to that effect. And we dip it in there, and you're going oh, to see. Look at them. You know, look and at of them. course, you can play around. I'm going to lower the pressure on this, because if it comes out a little bit too, lar too much, um, it's going to be difficult to work with. But as the um, carbon dioxide gets used up, look at that. Look at it. There we go. <gasps> and there is your ghost egg, Catherine. I love it. Okay, I'm going to poke it. And the reason you're wearing gloves, why are you wearing gloves for this? Uh, because Activity. it's really cold and dangerously cold? I don't know. Why? <laughs> why? Because you have soap that you're holding. And oh. soap is attracted to, you know, the dirt and oils on your hand. And so in order to keep the bubble from popping, you can use soap to, or you can use gloves to prevent the bubble from uh -huh. popping. Or you can set it on to, um, you know, what I have here are towels. And the t when the towels get wet, I'll, you know, kind of move or flip over because it's also, bubble solution is also attracted to water. So it's great fun science. Is that not just it the is, funnest It really thing is very cool. Look at that. Look. And of you course said we call them ghost eggs because when they break, out comes the ghost. Like the ghost is coming out. Yeah. You said even your college students love this. Oh my gosh, yeah. They, we have so much fun in my class playing around with ghost eggs and learning about gas and looking, looking at the different properties of carbon dioxide, which is, of course, CO2. Yes. And that is just fun, fun science right there. Well, yeah. for people who've never bought dry ice, you can get it right at Meyer, you exactly. guys. And exactly. And this is just a little one of those drink coolers mm -hmm. with that hosing on there and a funnel. So this you, yep. it is easy to put together at home. And what fun the kids would have with this. I think exactly. I might try this at home. I think my kids would really enjoy it. And it is a very, it. very easy setup. And for sure, it does not ruin your container at all. You can still take it to the sports field the day after Halloween. <laughs> okay, good. Well, you can find more activities from Chemical Kim on our website, wzzm13.com, under Take 5 Land.